what is happening traders what is happening traders welcome back to my youtube channel so i'm back with another very very interesting and yet powerful video so if you don't mind please do click that like button as it actually motivates me to continuously and consistently release content in this youtube channel and if you're not yet subscribed do subscribe right so it's interesting any time that i get on with it so bro whenever you actually take a trade you must be aware of opposing trend lines and opposing support and resistances i don't know if if that is pure english but you just you, you must actually be aware of opposing um trend lines right or opposing support and resistances right what i mean by that is if we can just look at this example here you can literally see here and let's just look here this is a very very nice breakout ain't it right this is a very very nice breakout you can see price actually broke out and then price started to print out some somewhat some candlesticks there you, uh, you 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 take your cell there and then all of a sudden price consolidates and then bam takes you out right and it would have done this because you never really looked at opposing trend lines that price might react from you took a cell there you never looked at the whole structure right right so you can see here that if you actually took your cell there then you would have known that okay you know what let me not take this cell here why because i'm not really sure if price is going to be able to also break out of this trend line right and what what you would have done is you would have been, been like you know what i am not going to take this break out here because price might do what might react on this trend line. Instead, I'm going to maybe wait for price to do it to break out of this trend line. And then I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to wait for a retest. Why am I actually um uh, why will I actually trade when price actually breaks out of this trend line? It is because there is no other opposing trend line. There is no trend line. They the there is no other trend line that when price actually breaks out of this trend line of this specific trend line there is no other support or trend line that price might actually react from if there was maybe some kind of like trend line there then you would have actually known let me just remove this then you would have been like oh, okay if price actually breaks here then it might also come here and then reverse then no i'm not going to be looking to trade a break a, a break out there then you would have just left it like that right right so that is why it is very much important for you before you actually take a trade try to look at opposing supports and resistances that might put your entry in danger right right this was a nice beautiful breakout retest but it would have actually stopped you out because why because price here came and it rested on this support it rested on this trend line right so this is one of the things this is one of the silly things that might actually cost you big time in forex trading because you don't look at this kind of things these little things right so that is why you also in your strategy you have to have rules that actually filter things like this that is why in your price action strategy i actually i would actually encourage you to not want to trade everything price action has got different sectors right We've got zones and demand and supply. We've got trend lines. We've got continuation patterns. We've got um, swing trading. We've got, you know, my ad my advice from you would be to do a, to just focus on one thing and 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 actually try and master that one thing. For instance, I actually follow the trend. The, I I only trade two set types, bro. Right? Price has to be at a what? Price has to be at a flip zone, right? I actually sell or oh, price has to be at a what oh price has to be at a trend line 
I follow the trend at the end of the day. I use its either prices to be on my flip zone or prices to be on my trend line. Just to show you real chart data, price has to be where? Price has to be on my flip zone or price has to be where? Or price has to be on my trend line. These are the two main setups that actually make up my trading strategy. I don't be trying to to, to to actually excuse me, I don't be trying to swing trade. I don't be trying to fall to catch a falling knife by probably buying here. No, I, I follow the trend from right. I don't be trying to 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 to, to actually maybe try to draw my support there and then sell there also draw my trend line there and then sell there no and this is the main reason why a lot of traders actually have five five set types per day 10 set types per day 15 trades that is why a lot of traders actually most of them find them taking even 15 trades per day because they they aren't actually focused on one sector right they actually juggle up everything and when you actually take a look at that it is so hard for you to actually make up good rules when you are trading everything it is so hard for you to actually fix your mistakes when you are actually trading everything but when you've just narrowed down um your strategy and you're just focused on that one thing if you are a swing trader then that is okay if you if, if you are trading supply and, and demand zones and stuff like that then you focus on entirely on the that one thing right then you get to understand your trading strategy better but if you're just going to draw trend lines there draw trend lines here draw trend lines there draw trend lines there and stuff like that that is why i also say that to me i actually open immediately when i actually open uh, uh, a pair I think it actually takes me less than 10 seconds or 15 seconds for me to actually know that ah, there's nothing for for, uh, for me here because I now understand what I actually want, right? I know the setups that I'm, that I'm actually looking for. My trading strategy, that is why sometimes I actually like to say that I trade like a robot because I always know what I'm actually looking for in the market. I don't be trying to trade everything. It is so funny because sometimes there are some traders whereby, bro, even if you'd actually open almost all of the posts, they would actually come up with a set type immediately. You'd actually see them drawing supports. You'd, you, you'd actually see them drawing structures. You'd actually see them drawing zones and their zones. And and it's funny because they they actually make sense out of it, right? You'd actually see them drawing zones and stuff like that and supply zones or, or stuff like that. Like in each and every per they would actually be able to tell you that they he, i'm going to sell here i'm going to buy here there is a set type here this is a buy set type for me right because they are just focused on trading everything try to narrow down your price action trading focus on one sector in this price action thing right don't try to juggle up everything you know um so that's it for this video if you actually found value do click that like button see you in the next one cool cool